If you have ongoing exposure to controlling people, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to experience blurry boundaries, which is why I have created the extensive online course called This Is Me, Establishing Boundaries with the Controllers in Your Life. There's a link below that will give you all of the details, and I hope that you would find it therapeutic. One of the things that I found stimulating as a therapist when I was in my practice for over 40 years is people would come to my counseling office and uh, we would be talking about some of the trends and patterns and difficulties they were in in their personal lives and I would help them pick up on some nuances that maybe they hadn't uh, figured out before coming in. Sometimes you can get so acclimated to uh, some of those patterns that you're in uh, that you don't see some of the, uh, the, the drivers that are pushing it. And so therapy is a way of trying to peel back the, the layers of the onion, if you will, and get down to the core of the individual and help them see these are some things inside of you that are being uh, uh, triggered and these are some things that we need to adjust. Let's figure out what that is. When you're dealing with narcissistic individuals, that kind of approach where you go into uh, strong insights about who they are, that kind of approach tends not to work, mainly because they've already declared themselves to be a finished product. In other words, they already know what their right opinion is and how everything is supposed to unfold and how people are supposed to treat them. And their major frustration is, I just can't get everybody to do what I tell them to do. And if they would, my problems would be solved. And that's not how it works. Narcissists are incredibly inclined towards poor insight. They don't have uh, very good self-awareness or they don't even have the same, uh, uh, the, the, just the basic um, honesty that's necessary for them to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm trying to grow and move forward. Help me figure out where we're going to go. Because of that, these individuals tend to have some serious blind spots that, uh, that actually keep them entrapped in their own narcissistic dysfunctional patterns. Because they can't be honest with themselves about who they are and what's going on, then they continue to perpetuate all of the, uh, uh, the compensation patterns that they're in, and, uh, and, and they, just, uh, they create all sorts of havoc with you as you try to engage with them. So today I want to see if I can help you uh, understand six of the most primary blind spots that they tend to operate with. And I, I want to make sure that we go beyond just, uh, you know, some of the glaringly obvious things. For example, uh, we all know that they are controlling and they have little empathy and they uh, want to be superior and they'll say, no, that's not true. So those, those are some of their blind spots perhaps. But I want to go a little bit deeper than that, as I would do with individuals in the therapy office, and show you that there are some significant things about themselves that they simply don't see, and they're not going to make any kind of improvements until they do see these. Let's figure out what we're talking about. Now, the first blind spot that I want you to uh, understand that they can have is they're, they're defined not just by their fears and their shame. I mean, yes, they are defined by that but they're defined even at a deeper level by what I would refer to as an existential pain. Now, what I mean by that is uh, these individuals are hurting. The, the, going way back in their deep history, uh, uh, things have not played out with certain key individuals in ways that they would want. And rather than saying, okay, uh, somebody is going to walk me through this and we're going to figure this out, there's a certain ineptitude that they had way back when, uh, way back when they began uh, developing the false self. It's like, well, if I say this, that's going to get me in trouble. If I do this, that's going to uh, keep me out of trouble. Okay, I'll do this over here. And, and they don't really develop what I refer to as a core emotional or psychological competence. Uh, when I say that they're trapped by their own existential pain, it's like life hurts and I don't know how to deal with it from the inside out. And so what I'll do is I'll just have to resort to whatever, whatever superficial means that I can, uh, can come up with so that I can deal with my hurts. 
And as a result, uh, they, uh, they, they naturally just look outward and they think, what are you people out there doing to make me feel miserable? Uh, because they don't have that internal competence and that internal uh, capacity to say, I need to take a hard look at myself and my coping skills. That's a blind spot. Uh, they don't see that and, uh, and they, they carry this pain. And as a result of not being able to deal with it very, very well, what they do is they carry it and then they displace that pain onto you. A second primary blind spot that they have is they're also stuck inside what I refer to as their self-induced loneliness. Now, what they'll say is, well, I have a problem with a bunch of idiots in my life who don't do things right, when in fact, no, what your problem is, is you're isolating yourself from other people because um, you connect with individuals based upon false pretenses. You're not really an authentic person or you drive away people, one person after another, because of your unruly emotions or you, you just don't have enough of a proper amount of honesty and vulnerability. That's the problem. You have a loneliness that you have created with other individuals and until you can come to terms with what that uh, means and what's driving that, you're going to continue to have the same old problems. Now, a third blind spot that they have, and that and I'm just going to put it this way. What they don't know about other people is what they don't know about themselves. You catch up on that? For example, other people can have emotions like agitation and irritability, and they can say, I just can't stand it that they feel that way, especially toward me. Well, the truth is you don't understand your own agitations. You don't understand the meaning of your emotions or, or if they say, well, that other person over there, ah, they're too defensive. Well, how about yourself? You don't understand your own defensiveness and all the fear that uh, plays into it. Or they can say that other person, they're way too insecure. Well, perhaps it's because you don't understand your own insecurity. They, uh, they don't know about other people and their emotions because they don't know themselves. That's a blind spot. In order for me to be able to have some idea of who you are, I have to enter into the whole human experience in an honest kind of way and admit my humanity and deal with that. And because they don't want to do that, then they don't understand you very well. And that's something that they simply don't understand. Now, a fourth blind spot that they have. And that is when they treat other individuals harshly, uh, the harshness that they feel toward other individuals, it's a direct byproduct of the harshness that they've already experienced from other people in their life. In other words, they displace a whole lot. If they're mean to you, if they're rude to you, if they're dismissive or they, if they give you the silent treatment, it's because they've probably had the, the very same thing done to them and they've not come to terms with that. And so if you were to sit down and say, hey, I know that you have these tendencies with me, but I think you've got some unfinished business on the inside of yourself about the way other people have dealt with you. And you're just kind of uh, uh, continuing on that same dysfunction with me. Can we slow down and take a look at uh, what you bring to the equation? And it's like, I don't do that. Uh, and, and as a result, they haven't come to terms with their own internal grief and their own internal confusion. And as a result, uh, they're harsh to you because that's what was done there. And so they just go on the modeling that they've received way early on. And then a, a fifth uh, major blind spot that they have, and that is they have no conception of conflict resolution beyond the use of imperative communication. You may have heard me talk about imperative thinking and imperative communication. When we say something is imperative, it's, imperative, it's very command oriented. Black and white, do this, don't do that. You must, you'd better, you have to. When they come upon conflicts, uh, they're more than, uh, uh, than, more than eager to say, you'd better do this and you have to quit doing that. They don't take the time to think, well, wait a minute, before I just start telling you what to do, Let's look at some insights here. Who are you and why do you feel the way you do? What's the backstory? Or uh, you know, what kind of miscalculations might I have made in my interactions with you? Let's figure out uh, you know, what we're bringing to the equation as we uh, have this conflict. And the more we understand each other, then the better we're going to be. 
They don't do that. And it's, it's like, nope, I, I don't do that. It wasn't done to me. I don't know how to do that. And so uh, they just talk in imperatives. They think, well, as soon as you do what I tell you to do, then uh, problem solved. And of course, that's a blind spot. It doesn't work that way. Or then a sixth blind spot that they have. And that is by virtue of the fact that they live behind the, uh, the, the pretenses of the false self, they are going to have guaranteed phoniness in the way that they engage with people. They, they think of themselves as being uh, the, the kind of person that everybody else needs to emulate when in fact um, they, uh, they, they, they're not real. They're not genuine. What they purport to be on the outside is just what they need to be so that they can get whatever supply they're looking for. But they bring a guaranteed phoniness and lack of authenticity. And of course, relationships are not going to go well when you bring those kind of ingredients. That's a blind spot. They're not going to admit that to save their life. Um, they're, not gonna, they're certainly not going to say, well, the reason that I struggle is because I have some of my own internal issues. Uh, they can't go into that kind of space because the false self won't allow them to say that. And as a result, these are individuals who um, uh, can't admit uh, what, or they, they, uh, they can't change, excuse me, they can't ch change what they can't see. Uh, their problems are going to be your fault their problems are going to worsen as you continue with them because they stubbornly hold on to their um, failed explanations um, because of their, um, their false self. They're going to be uh, prone towards lying and secret keeping. And then all along the way, they pile up one long list of failed uh, experiences and then enemies, et cetera, et cetera. So you can be the kind of person that says, well, I like seeing what my blind spots are so that I can grow. And I like to have that insight so that I can be a person that's making improvements. And the narcissist will say, yeah, you sure need to do that. <laughs> All the while, they don't see that uh, that's exactly where they're coming from. And so perhaps by understanding uh, what we're talking about here, it, you can at least uh, recognize where the futility is coming from. Um, being open-minded, being authentic is, is essential for relationship uh, success. Narcissists are neither open-minded nor are they authentic. So know what you're dealing with and drop the illusion that you're going to make them change. They can't change until they address their blind spots and then make your adjustments accordingly. And I hope that videos such as this can give you some good awareness of what you're dealing with. They want to make it all about you, but no, you're dealing with somebody who's uh, truly troubled. Uh, the reason I make these videos is I hope that you can have a, a, the proper awareness. So if you haven't already uh, signed or hit the subscribe button, I encourage you to do so. Sometimes when you're dealing with this on a very personal level, it's good to have your own therapy so that you can figure this out. You know, I've been sponsored for years. Obviously, I mentioned I'm a therapist, and so I refer people to therapy. And uh, I've been sponsored for years by the people at BetterHelp.com. There's a whole team of licensed professional therapists who will do what, uh, like what I like to do in my office. They'll uh, say, let's hear your story. Let's break it down. Let's figure out where, uh, what's going on with the other individuals inside of you. And it can be extremely helpful. I mean, to the point of like, life altering if you uh, uh, get that right connection with a therapist. So as the need is there, uh, go through the link and, uh, and uh, there's a, a team of therapists that you can select from. Please get the help that you would need. In addition, I've put together courses and this is my way of bringing some of my insights and awareness to different circumstances. Each course has at least 25 videos with written handouts that go along with every video, guided questions. Uh, we have a ready, ready, set, connect about making healthy connections. This is me about um, finding your boundaries and establishing those free to be finding yourself despite the controllers. I also have my webinars that I presented. Those are 90, 90 minute presentations that I've uh, come up with. All of this is on my, our website and you can look those up and uh, take advantage of those. In addition, we have my articles, my books, we have access to the podcast and we have so plenty of resources. Okay, I'm hopeful that you're the kind of person that says, well, I want to have insight. And if it means I have to acknowledge certain things about myself that I haven't been as privy to as I need to, I'm, I'm open to that. Narcissists won't go into that space with you. And as a result, their blind spots keep them snared or keep them entrapped by their own uh, dysfunction. Know that, see it for what it is, and you don't, you don't have to go in there and join them in that. But I'm hoping you can see uh, what some of those uh, issues are and you can be the kind of person that says, I'm taking responsibility for me because in the, in the end, that's how you get to your place of internal 
peace.